Welcome to another Phytech Q&A session. I'm Bryce and we're going to go over some of your questions from the internet. Uh, the first question that we got here is from Facebook. Why did you not include a fuel pressure gauge built onto a Phytech throttle body? It would be very helpful for troubleshooting. Um, one of the biggest reasons for that was just for simplicity. Uh, sim keeping things simple gives a cleaner appearance. I do agree with you that a fuel pressure gauge makes your troubleshooting a lot easier. However, some people will want to mount that in different locations. Uh, one of the things that I've seen before is using a male-female AN6 gauge port on the inlet side. Some people will keep those on hand and put a gauge on when they're troubleshooting and then take it off later just to keep that clean appearance. Um, I've had other people do interesting things too, like taking one of the front plugs off of one of the throttle bodies, drilling and tapping it so they can put a gauge into it. Um, other people are using remote mount locations. Uh, if they're using a remote mount regulator, they'll put it on the firewall or somewhere else there. But it all comes down to keeping it clean and sleek looking and then because there's so many options, you can kind of choose where you want to put it. The next question that we got is, can I install one of these systems on a BDS blower? Uh, the s simple answer to that is yes. Uh, it's really common with our dual quad power adder systems that they go on a root style supercharger. One of the biggest tips that I would always give with one of these systems, which is the 30,064 or 30,065 EFI systems, is when you're doing a root style supercharger, since we have a map sensor built into that throttle body, we want to get that map reading from underneath the supercharger itself. So every one of these kits comes with a little plug and instructions that you want to put a plug underneath the throttle body that blocks off the map sensor and redirects it out of a 530 seconds nipple out of the front of the main throttle body. You would want to take a vacuum hose for that and run it underneath the blower so then that ECU can read both vacuum and boost. Um, but yeah, it's very common that we run our systems on a root style BDS type blower. Next one we got off Facebook is, I have a question regarding a 600 power adder EFI system. Can I run this system naturally aspirated and later on add a turbo setup and figure it out? So the simple answer to that is yes. Uh, I have plenty of customers that buy bigger systems than what their engine produces because they're building a second, um, second engine to then use the system on. Uh, in this case, they're using a 600 horsepower power adder in my, um, one of those you could run naturally aspirated and then put a blow through or roots type supercharger with it, reflash the system back to stock and start over with it with a boosted application. Um, the method that I've seen before is someone has a 383 stroker and they're building a new one for like a pro charger or something like that but they buy the 1200 horsepower system, but their engine's only making like 600 horsepower right now. So they run it with that engine combination at that time while they finish building their new combination that's a pro charge crazy setup that makes 1,000, 1100 horsepower. Once they switch over, they just put the new engine in, same throttle body will both run the systems both on both engines. Um, even the 1200 horsepower system will run on a stock Chevy 350, so that's not something to really be concerned about. Um, I got another Facebook question. Who is asking, so are your 67 GTO EFI tanks E85 ready? Um, not specific to the 67 GTO, but any of our Phytech EFI gas tanks are E85 ready. We offer it in a 340 liter per hour pump combination or a 440 liter per hour pump combination. One of the big things to keep in mind though is the horsepower ratings on these gas tanks is 800 and 1000 horsepower. When doing E85, that rating goes down 30%. The reason for that is to support an engine on E85, it requires 30% more fuel flow. So, with that said, it's about 580 horsepower with the smaller package and about 700 horsepower with the bigger fuel pump. <clears throat> Our next question is, um, I don't know where this is from, I think YouTube, from a, a 
KURO88 says, Hi, I own a 1970 446 pack CUDA and was wondering is there a complete plug and play EFI system ready to buy like everything that I need fuel pump, uh, ideally fittings for the stock fuel tank, uh, sensors, etc.? Um, with that said, effectively, we have the six pack, six pack EFI system, the 39610. And we also offer a linkage kit for it, the 39611. That would get you the EFI system portion of it. You would still have to look at fuel delivery. Um, I have options of a bunch of different fuel delivery systems, whether it's a frame roll mounted fuel pump, one of the surge tanks, or even a complete EFI gas tank replacement for a 70 CUDA. Um, that would actually be the biggest recommendation I would give you is to try to go into an in-tank package. Uh, the big reason for that is when you're looking at fuel systems, electric fuel pumps are designed to push fuel, not pull. So whenever you can get that pump directly in the source of fuel, that pump's not pulling anything. It's right in it. So it's only pushing, and that's really the, the key to longevity on a fuel pump. And then our last question that we have on... Uh, this one's on Facebook as well. So what is the final verdict with a single plane or a dual plane on a Phytech EFI system? The big answer to that one is run whatever you want. This is a big misconception that has come into the market with throttle body EFI systems with a, e with a throttle body system from a long time ago. It's not even a Phytech product, it's from another company where the injectors for that system were underneath the butterflies and they were on the outside edges of the throttle body. So on a dual plane intake, when the injectors fired, they would spray directly at that center divide on a dual plane, hit the center divide and run down in the bottom of the intake. That is not a problem with Phytech's patented annular discharge, which is swirling fuel above the butterflies. So in an idling situation, that fuel will get on top of the butterfly and shear over it, which gives much better fuel distribution. Um, and then wide open throttle, you get that swirl down through the butterflies down into the intake. So no matter if you're running a dual plane or a single plane intake, when it comes to the Phytec system, fuel distribution is going to be just as good as a carburetor. So it doesn't matter if you're doing a single plane or a dual plane intake. That uh, the question that you should really be asking with that one is, would a dual plane or a single plane intake work better for your engine combination? So there's some camshafts and different compression ratios and heads that would like a single plane over a dual plane. And that's more of what you would be looking at when selecting an intake manifold. So that concludes all of our questions today. Uh, if you have any type of questions that you want to have answered or further information about today's questions, please comment them down below in the comment section. If you're looking at more of these Q&As, please check out our website, phytechefi.com, and you can find additional tech videos, Q&As, and product details.